And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new Constitution of these United States? Against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Walk with me, son. Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. You must think highly of your combat skills. Uh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the dog take a look at you. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc. How is fit to serve? Lo hará bien. You doing runs out in the shit? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. Let's go, son. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions, because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. Sir? This place, I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island. I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story of Noah's Ark? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's, everyone's heard of it. Indeed. You'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story. I mean, uh, that... It's, it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. <sighs> Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? <laughs> Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. 
And normally we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's get you some work. All right. Now, what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die. But our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an Ark, Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition. Every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you, an assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit or use a gun. Are you up for it, son? Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. Get out of the way. Whoa! Now! Shit! You okay, Lieutenant? Oh. Hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Defeat the enemy. Sorry. But, yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show. Right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah there's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Mm, you working on napalm? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. In here. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? 
Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and uh eight turp turpin turp Get out. Shit. Get out. Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, ethylathic acid. Good enough, when can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Sir. Stand at attention. Sir, I don't. Dead. You're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I, I find you. You had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun. Who's your and we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and Farewell I was overrun. They said that everybody was dead. I, didn't think that I never thought I would see you again. Seen. Hey, hey, listen. Now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come Please, on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. They forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I ain't coming here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Corporal St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. Mr. Weaver, what can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, mm. Cinnabar. Corey's unit scouted out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me, if the Colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old.
Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood, a fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. Hurry to St. John. Come in. I've got another job for you. Come to the Diamond Lake Outpost. Copy that, Captain. St. John out. Hey, what are you doing here? St. John, Corporal St. John. <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, is this, is this thing even work? I don't think it's ringing. Taylor, yeah, your radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John, hey. Uh, I mean, you know, nothing. It's just, just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the whole swearing in thing. That was some shit, am I right? <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. What, hey, hey, what, what, the, what the hell you, you got, they got you doing? I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, hauling wood. So, so, sorry, what, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on... Oh, shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on, uh, on uh, bioweapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks to the ground! <laughs> Okay, uh, you were saying? Oh shit! Oh, I heard about that! Yeah, yeah, working on, uh, on, uh, bioweapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks to the ground, am I right? <laughs> yeah, look, Taylor, I gotta go. Alright, alright, hey, uh, um, hey, look man, it's, uh, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about all this military shit, you know, uh, Taylor, what radio are you on? Are you sure that you're not being monitored? Oh, shit! 
Huh, that's what I thought. Gotta go. St. John out. Corporal Deacon St. John. <laughs> hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey. Taylor, what do you need? There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. I, I got a secure channel and everything. So how's it going, man? Taylor, I'm kind of busy right now, so... Yeah, 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 sorry, man, sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, so, words out in the camp, the trucks are making their way in, right under the colonel's nose. It's good stuff, too, man. Do you think about that? I don't do drugs, Taylor. No, I don't know anything about it. Why? No, 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 I don't, I don't either. I'm just, Medical I saw this guy, you know, one of the new recruits, yeah, acting all suspicious, so right, see if there's a, out of camp see all the time, so I thought, I thought I'd follow him, right? <laughs> Let's see what the hell he's about. Ah, oh, goddamn it. Taylor, listen to me. You just go to Corey, let him handle it. You got that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good call. Yeah. Okay, Mr. <laughs> St. John, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later, man. Yeah, uh, out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, tell him what the hell he's doing. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The feds were whining babies, suckling at the teat of us taxpayers. But dumb as they were, we can't underestimate them. You gotta know the chief muckety mucks are hiding out there in some bunker, waiting for the freaks to die off. They didn't save the hungry, or their precious constituents. You know the real reason they're in power. They saved the elite. The men and women who played ball. They're sitting underground, probably drinking champagne while they wait. Meanwhile, we're out here dying, <laughs> suffering. Also, the feds can hit the damn reset button. They didn't account for one thing. We're not as stupid as they thought we were. And once they emerge to reclaim the world when the freaks are gone, we'll be waiting. Oh, yes, we will. And they'll be sorry they ever came out of hiding. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Ah, oh, Jesus, even all the way down here, I can't get away from goddamn Radio Free Oregon. Injector. Nero had all the good shit. Mm. Was about due for a flu shot. Some dedication to duty. Oh. 
now. I gotta clear it out. I gotta cut down on the swarmers out here. Scrap. I'm marauder camp. These are the assholes who've been ambushing the roads around here.
Something feels wrong. Are you going on about? I gotta clear the camp. Bunch of murderers and thieves, and I can't let any of them escape. You ambushed down there, huh? That's it. You're done. How do you like that, huh? Being ambushed, you like that? You murdering sons of bitches. I wonder if they had a bunker around here. I'll bet they do. Here's the hatch. Yeah, I knew you had one.
Hello, a map. Looks like they marked it up pretty good. Should be it. Yeah. Someone needs help. Okay, don't want to die out here. Look, there's a camp that... What? what camp? This camp? Where? 
Where? Show me. I'll go. Diamond Lake, there's a militia camp. You gotta ask for Captain Curry. Oh man. Thanks. Thank you. I was done for. Holy shit! I was I was a goner, you know? Whew. Thank you so much, man. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Tell them it was Deacon. They'll know. Keep your head down and run. St. John reporting in, and I'm at the last location where Lieutenant Norwood was seen. Uh, he seems pretty fortified. Sir, are you sure you want me to tackle this alone? Just follow orders. Garrett out. Yes, sir. Fucking A. Lieutenant, you in here? What are you doing, Lieutenant? St. John. Thank God I'd given up hope. Oh, yeah? Well, a good friend of mine once told me, never give up hope, because you lose that. You may as well just pack it in. Keep that in mind next time I'm ambushed by a dozen squatters. Yeah, okay, all right, listen. Camp's clear and your bike's still in one piece, so can you just get back alone, huh? Yeah, I can handle it. Thank you, St. John. Sure, now get going. Go. 